Welcome to Rehash on the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Hello, this is D-Lo Flow TV. I'm a proud partner of the Freedom Family, and you're watching Rehash. Thank you so much to D-Lo Flow TV who provided our intro. If you'd like to be an awesome person like him, link in the description where you can provide an intro and get a meaningful spotlight at the end of any Rehash episode. I've got a few newsy type whatevers that I'd like to discuss with you, the Freedom Family, today. However, I did want to address the elephant in the room. Normally, I have a co-host named Zach who is not here today. He's feeling a little bit under the weather. He will return shortly. First newsy type whatever that we're going to discuss today is Zach Anderson, a 19-year-old who will spend the next 25 years as a registered sex offender because he met someone on a Tinder-like app on his phone and, of course, as teenagers do, had a little bit of a hookup. Unfortunately, the young girl was lying about her age and now he is a registered sex offender, even though the girl's mother and the girl both testified on his behalf and did not agree with you know said uh, charge unfortunately it was the state who was pressing charges so their testimony had no weight how do you feel about this if the girl lied about her age and both the girl and the mother testified that he should not be tried as a sex offender how do you think that should go down let us know in the comment section down below second newsy type whatever is terraria is coming to both the wii u and the nintendo 3ds that's right, everybody's favorite, well, almost favorite game about blocks and building and battle mechanics. There's another game around here that's very similar to that, but this one's in 2D. Is now coming to Nintendo. Let us know in the comment section down below how you feel about that and if this is something that really interests you. If this is something that you don't think you'll ever take advantage of, let us know in the comment section down below. In politics news, Texas Governor Rick Perry recently challenged Donald Trump to a pull-up contest. And of course, this is on the heels of Donald Trump talking much smack and for lack of a better way to put it, basically saying that Rick Perry doesn't have the gravitas or the manliness to really lead. Um, so, I'm curious, Mr. Trump, do you accept? In other political newsy type whatevers, President Barack Obama has commissioned the world's very first exaflop computer. Now, keep in mind, exaflop is about 1,000 petaflops. And if you don't know what a petaflop is, I mean, come on, everybody knows what that is. This would, of course, be the fastest computer on the globe until, of course, China steps in, and who knows? I mean, there's a rivalry there. And for those of you who still don't quite grasp what this means, that means a computer that's pretty much rivaling the human brain. That's pretty big stuff. Going back to news about Texas, Walter White was recently arrested in Texas for meth trafficking. Of course, not that Walter White. We're actually talking about a different Walter White. He's now requesting that some of his items that he claims were illegally seized, including a television and some other miscellaneous household goods, be returned to his family. Um, that's really all there is to this story, but I couldn't pass it up because I just finished Breaking Bad. Yeah, good show. And in not-so-uplifting news, a man riding across the U.S. for affordable housing was recently struck down in Oklahoma. This was a bicycle car accident, and we do wish him the best. Full article in the description below, along with all of the articles that we talked about today. If there is a comment section on any of these, let, be sure to let them know that Rehash sent you. All right, we are going to skip the comment section today. I am sorry, two days in a row. And now, on to talking about the partner. Delo Flow TV, currently sitting at about 180 some odd subscribers, is a decent, nice vlogging slash rap channel um, and I say decent, not in the US form of decent, but in the UK form of decent, which means yeah, fairly good. Now, this channel does remind me very much of the early days of YouTube, wherein this man, you know, speaks directly to and in front of his camera, and he also performs musically. The reason I say it reminds me of the earlier days of YouTube is the fact that it is performed on the spot, there's not a lot of production quality. However, you can tell that he's putting in some time on it. Delo Flow TV, I would tell you that I think that you'll see a lot more success if you put in a little bit more planning beforehand into your videos. And of course, I'm talking about such things as maybe pre-recording the music, lip syncing later, and then syncing it up. I think that if you were to focus a little bit more on the visually appealing aspect, 
you could get a lot more views. You have a very active fan base who are all YouTubers themselves, as I've noticed. I wish you the best, and if you'd like to check out DLoFlow TV, link in the description where you can check out his channel. And, of course, if you'd like spotlight like this, link in the description to where you can provide an intro for us and get a spotlight just like this one. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family.